Hey everybody, doing a video here on my van. Hopefully, uh, it's on the street so you might not be able to hear me. There's cars that are gonna be driving by like crazy. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little video here. Um, this is the van I usually use for when I do swap meet stuff. Um, that's all my swap meet stuff. That's not in the, the van right now because I wanna show the inside and outside. Um, it's, it's a really good van. I've been using it for about two years now. It, let me get a better shot over here. I'm not doing uh, ugh, I'm not doing swap meets much anymore just because I put all my stuff on eBay. So what I want to do is I want to get a good look at this guy here. Let's take a look at the at the tires real quick. It's not bad. Maybe the treads is a little. Yeah, maybe this is kind of going off a little bit here. Huh? This tire might be getting a little a little bald. I'm sorry, I wasn't showing the. As you can see right here, the tread's kind of going down a little bit, so that might not, might need to be replaced. Front passenger. Get a little view of the back here. Door slides perfect. It's really great for. Hauling, like I said, I put my swap me stuff in here. Got a nice, uh, someone, when I, I bought it with the shelf already on it. And uh, I didn't know I was going to need it, but I did, man. I got all kinds of crazy stuff in there. Some of that will come with it. Like, uh, I'm going to leave this in here. You never know when you're going to need these, uh, these guys right here, the cones. And then a little thing right here in case you're not a gas. So that's something you're going to want to need. So I'll leave that in here with the deal if you do want to end up buying the van. Here's a spare tire. It's pretty pretty spacious in here. Ugh. Let's check out the back. All right, let's check out this tire. The treads on this tire is a lot better than that front. I had these changed when I first bought it about, I think, uh, two years ago. The back one seems to be pretty good. So maybe the front tire for some reason is wearing different. It does have some dings. Let's see if I can get it in the video. You see it's not straight right here. It's like someone might have... This Again, this is how I bought it with this ding. I mean, it's got a few little issues. Some scrapes here on the bumper. It's got some a uh, little bit of rust. No big deal. It doesn't, doesn't come... Uh, like when it rains or if I wash it, water doesn't come through to the inside. There's a good view of the back. It's got that hitch. It's got the two-inch hitch right there. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna use it. I thought I was gonna buy like a trailer. It uh, that didn't end up not happening. But it's got the the hitch there in case you do want to haul something or maybe even like a bike rack. These doors here. You can see here. It opens up extra wide. You fit whatever you need in there. I know when I had to. Uh, my wife had me uh, buy this dresser. That was uh, the doors opening extra actually helped out. And here's that cool rack. Get a better view of it that way. The tire. It's got a, a jack in there I never had to use, which is good. And again, a little bit more rust right here. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not going through or anything. All right. Let's show you the side here. A lot of traffic, so I'm just gonna wait for it to die down, then I'll get a good view of the side. Well, first, let's look at these tires. This tire tread's pretty good, too. It's hard to see, but my fingers go in there pretty good. So that's good. All right, here we go. To make this quick, got cars coming. Pretty nice size van. It's not the extra large, but it's uh. Good size here, got all kinds of cool things. Got manual windows. You see it's been it's been used quite frequently. Put the seat right here, let me jump in. Alright, so this is the interior. Let's start this guy up. Starts up right away. Check that out. It's got a See here, it's got 200, got 281,173 uh, miles on the car. 
Uh, it does have an issue, uh, actually has a couple issues. The gas, as you can see right there, it's past the, the, the full uh, mark. It, uh, for some reason, it just it, it doesn't uh, show you how much gas is in there. I mean, if I, if I put gas in, right, the, the, the needle will go further this way, and when it's running out, it gets closer to that full line. So it, it's broke, that, that gauge is broken. Uh, another thing that's not working right is the temperature sensor. Can't see very well, but you can see it's stuck right there at, at 100. Um, that's not working. Uh, I think I just need to change the, the, uh, the thermometer in there, but uh, you know, I don't know how to do that. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, another issue, it's not a really big deal. Well, as you can see here, here's the brake, and here's the gas. The pedal's broken off of it, but since this little stand thing still here, it still works. Let's go check out, oh, and the radio does work. So radio works. What else? Um, AC does not. Let's go ahead and pop this hood. Let's go check out the engine real quick. So this guy's purring like a kitten, like a tiger, like a puma, or a grizzly bear. Good, good look here. Not a mechanic, so I don't know what to focus on or not focus on. But if you are, there you go.